Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the iframe widget presented by the Element Pack Pro plugin. Oh, let's break a leg. Let's drag the iframe widget inside the page editor. This is the default appearance of the widget showing an example domain on the content area. From layout, you'll need to put the content source link in the field above to display the content in the iframe. Our iframe widget supports any kind of website, YouTube link, Vimeo, document link, image link, and everything that you can think of. Note that for websites with SSL certification, you must insert the whole link otherwise it won't show. Now let us show you a quick demo. We are going to copy the share link of this YouTube video for the iframe. Let's expand the course and copy the link. Now paste it in the link field of iframe. Just like that, the iframe widget will show the YouTube video on your web page with all controls given from YouTube. It's the same for Vimeo. Just go and copy a video link there. and paste it inside the link field, just like that. Does iframe work with SoundCloud? Yes, it works. Just select the audio that you want to play using iframe and then copy the amped code from there. Then paste the code in the source field. And you'll see the audio being displayed inside the content area. Awesome, right? You can enjoy the full tools control of SoundCloud platform from the audios. Do you want to end Google Maps on your website? That's even easier with the iframe widget. Just go to your target location using Maps and click on the Share tab. Now go to the end section and copy the link. Paste the link inside the iframe source field and you will see your target location showing in the content area. Well, that's not all. You can display full-size websites using iframe just by providing the correct URL. Just like how we did it. Now let's explore all other options here. You can see an auto height switcher below. Right after that, you get a scroll bar to adjust the iframe height manually. Not only that, you can even customize its width too. Then change the alignment in order to find the right spot to display the iframe. We are going to revert the width value. Our iframe widget automatically adjusts the content window for any kind of devices. Yes, it's highly responsive. But you could do more like turn on the responsive ratio button to manually change the content window for more precision. Let's go back where we were. Our iframe widget comes with a lazy load content setting that's displayed in the next section. However, you can turn it off and see the content requires more time to load properly. Keeping the lazy load on will reduce the data strain on your server and won't let the site speed fall. The lazy load feature comes with detailed control for more power. The additional settings section contains some layout control for the iframe. Like how you can simply hide the scroll bar from the content window, just flip a switcher. Right below, the sandbox mode allows you to apply more content restrictions on the content window for a fully customized content flow. You can select multiple attributes from the selection to allow them for displaying on the window. Anything that's not allowed won't show up in the window otherwise.
Then again, you can set custom attributes for the iframe. Next, you can display the iframe content window using virtual devices like desktop, Chrome browser, Edge, mobile, etc. This makes the iframe more cool, dynamic, and appealing to look at. And that's everything you can do with our iframe widget. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.